It is time for your good news. We're about a month away from this year's Kentucky State Fair, and we're learning more about this year's special promotion days. Sunday, August 18th will be Military Sunday. Active military and veterans, along with their families, can get in for free. Parking is extra. Monday, August 19th is $5 Monday, and all fairgoers can get in for just $5, and that includes parking. Tuesday, August 20th is Senior Day. Everyone 55 and older can get into the fair for free. However, you still have to pay for parking that day. And these are just a few of the special days planned for the annual event, the Kentucky State Fair. Write this down. It will run from August 15th through the 25th. And there is still time to get your St. Jude Dream Home ticket for the big home giveaway. You can reserve your $100 ticket for a chance to win this beautiful home that is in Carter's Crossing in Bowling Green. And if you get your ticket now before July 12th, you'll have a chance to win an Ego 52-inch zero-turn lawnmower and an Ego tool package that's valued at $10,000. It's courtesy of Right Implement, and that's all part of our early bird prize package. For more information on how you can get your ticket, go to WBKO.com. Com, click the St. Jude tab or call the number on your screen 800-834-5461. And yesterday, the city of Lexington honored one of its own, Kenny McPeak, trained Mystic Day Dan and Torpedo Anna this year's Kentucky Derby and Oaks winners. The city's mayor, Linda Gordon, declared July 2nd Kenny McPeak Day in Lexington. A graduate of Tate High, or Tate's Creek High School, McPeak became overwhelmed by the honor. He says winning the Derby is a challenge that he worked hard to accomplish, and he did such a great job. But he says your roots are a lot more important. And I'm so proud to have grown up here and you know, I can, I can actually drive, I could drive Lexington blindfolded um, since I was a boy. And anyway, thank you for everything. I don't even, I'm, I'm just, it's emotional. McPeak has also ventured into the tech world. He helped create an app. It's called Horses Now that allows people to watch races and replays on mobile devices. Very cool. In other good news, an estimated 1 million Americans are living with Parkinson's disease. The disease can cause tremors, difficulty walking, and cognitive loss. Now, there is no known cure, but studies show, here's where the good news comes in, that dancing can help. The nonprofit Dance for PD has hundreds of classes nationwide with locations in over two dozen countries. The Good Side stopped in on a class at the world-renowned Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. And then reach forward, you gotta go down to go up. I'm Lucy Bowen McCauley, and I'm a certified Dance for Parkinson's Disease instructor. We all know that exercise is good for anyone, and especially for people with Parkinson's disease. It helps with, you know, balance and gait and motor skills, you know, flexibility. There was a recent longitudinal study of three years at York University in Canada, and it proved that Dance for Parkinson's disease help slow the progression of the disease, which is as good as we can get since there's no cure. What if we want to reach towards someone and pull them into our world? Pick someone else, reach and pull in. I can give you medicine for symptoms, but nothing to slow the disease or stop it. That's up to you. The only thing you can do is exercise. Just Use the muscles and mind two, together three, while you're talking, while you're doing things. Two. It's the only way to fight the disease. So the fun is the fun and the upbeat is the bonus. When you add in the components of music, creativity, and friendship, people being in the class together with the same issues, we are just sharing the joy of dance and the disease kind of goes out the door. I think not only the movements and sort of stretching your body and looking up, but Seeing all these people make an effort, it's, it's very moving. So good for my body, my mind, my soul, my spirit. Every time we go to this class, we come out and feeling high spiritually and, and physically. And we can hiss. People with Parkinson's disease often get depressed and isolated, stay at home, but we want people to come and to get Beautiful. out of the house, out of their isolation, Friendships are made, people feel comfortable because 
it's for people with Parkinson disease or their care partners. They get to feel graceful because they are graceful. They're dancers. We start in a big circle and we start in chairs and we do warm up exercises just like any dancer, athlete, vocalist. We start to add arm and leg movement together. There's always an option though for someone who might be more wheelchair bound to do just an arm version. There's a bar a section, B-A-R-R-E, a bar section, where we work on some balance and a little bit faster faster shifts of weight, level changes, highs and lows, absolutely like a regular dance class. We have walkers. We also have assistants who will sometimes give an arm or elbow to someone who can do most of it and they just need someone to steady them a little bit. So we try very hard to include everyone in the class. And that's just so meaningful that we're helping people, but they're helping themselves too. Where's that smile? It's just fantastic. Every community, everyone who has Parkinson's should have access to this sort of thing. It's so simple, so basic, but it can change your life. And it looks like a lot of fun to share your good news with us and you just may see it right here on Midday Live. Submit your stories, your photos, and your videos at WBKO.com slash good news. Good News is brought to you by Bath Planet of Bowling Green.